What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be battling out between Whataburger and In and Out. I'm Austin. And I'm James. And this, and this is, is Today with A and J. Over here on the right side, we have Whataburger. And on the left, we have In and Out. Yeah. This is actually going to be my second time trying In and Out. And so. I'm ready to eat this burger. We figured there's a hot debate on this subject. Um, I personally like Whataburger. Um, I don't eat in and out that much, though, because it's further away from me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to try to keep an open mind on it. Yes, and I'm from College Station, so I've grown up eating Whataburger. It's not really in and out there yet. So let's get started. Um, let's, let's do the burger first. Okay. A Whataburger first. I'm not even going to taste this yet. All right. So just from the looks of it, the water burger is a bit bigger than the in and out bigger. burger. It could yeah. eat this. <laughs> and it has a lot of cheese on it. My favorite. Is it a good one? Okay. I'm gonna go in here. What is it double? Whataburger never lets me down. So this burger has onions, tomatoes, lettuce, um, cheese, and the meat has a really good flavor and it's seasoned well. And we went ahead and got the double patty on this one since this is a double patty as well. Mm -hmm. But it tastes pretty good. Um, I do get the cheese. Um, they have usually only mustard, but I I don't shy away from mustard and onion. I like that combo. Oh, yes. But, all right, you try it first. <laughs> yes. oh. I guess one thing I would say I like about the In N Out burger is that it's more depth in it. Where yeah, the water it, it definitely is a looks flattened. nicer. Oh, yes, the presentation is good. All right. So it's going to be a big bite. I can definitely taste mayo on that. Can you? I got more of the special sauce with cheese and meat. Um, Downside to it, I feel like the water burger burger has better tomatoes on it. This one's more round and it's solid. Yeah. As you can see over here on the In N Out burger, the tomato is a little bit. I would say overripe, in my opinion. There's a lot more onion on this. I don't shy away from onion. I like onion. I like I like onion a lot. This is a little bit since it's raw and it's like the whole ring. It is a little bit much for me. Okay, taste it again. I'm gonna try this side without the onion. Cause look. <laughs> I don't know which bike was which. Mm. I still think that this burger is pretty good. It's seasoned as well, the patty. I like the char on this burger a lot more. Um, you do get a lot of flavor when you char the meat. It pulls out a very uh, delicious taste. Go, try that one again and see what you think. And get a good bite. They're both good. Neither one is bad. Mm -hmm. Honestly, though, I do like this burger more. It has a better mouth feel since it has that char too. I definitely need to take smaller bites. Well, in my opinion, both burgers are great, but the overall taste of the burger, and you can taste the char of it, I'm going to go with the water burger. What about you? I'm going to go with water burger on burgers. All right, let's try the fries now. And we were supposed to get ketchup with this one. We didn't get it, so we're just going to use the same ketchup. I'm going to try one without yeah, ketchup. Yeah, without ketchup first. Mm. 
Now I hear the animal fries are really good, but we wanted to keep them as close to each other as possible, so we didn't go ahead and get those. Mm. This one's a bit crunchy. Then crunchy, the way I like it. This one is not very crunchy. Yeah, let's touch. Um, trying to describe it. I can definitely tell the difference between the way they look. Mm. These look, these remind me of like when I make fries. Honestly, second time trying in now, I would have to say these remind me of the fries that I used to get from high school. And they're not wow, crunchy. How nice. Not dog on the high school fries. I still think they were pretty decent, but. Mm. Mm. I already know my decision. These don't have the snap you want from a fry. Mm. Yeah. The crisp shell on these is like way above these. Oh, yeah. And that's what I love out of a fry. I love the crunch on the outside and the soft inside. This is more like a hard outside. It's not like a crunchy outside. Yeah. But it still has, and then it's very potato-y. Mm-hmm. Um, Overall. I would definitely say Whataburger got fries, too. Yeah. In both areas, they were better. I'm a little ashamed, um, upset, because I didn't get to try the ketchup that in and out. It's probably just normal ketchup, so... We won't. I don't know. Delve man. into that too much. Waterworks ketchup is pretty good. Well, that's why we use both. Mm. With that, yeah, it's, it's just not as good. All right. Well, seems like we have a winner, and that, that winner is Waterburger. Yep. Unanimously. Oh yes. So don't get us wrong. The In and Out Burger was delicious, and I would definitely go back to eat there again. But overall, taste buds definitely agree that Waterburger is better. But I also think you get more food with this. Um, this burger is way bigger. And it's also the double patty. It's not the plain Whataburger. I um, mean, the d- price difference was only 50 cents. Yes. This was 50 cents cheaper. But I think overall, you get more for your money over here. Even the drinks for Whataburger are bigger. But yeah, like this is the normal size that comes with it. This is a in and out And this is Whataburger. So you definitely get more, more for, the buck. for like the 50 cents extra. So I think it's definitely worth it. But that concludes another episode of Today with a j So don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great day. Always be your best.